So I'm thinking again about what the internet now is, what it's become over time. And I honestly do think that the time has come to regard the internet as an entity in its own right. Uh, we, we've created um, a person personality, we've created a sentient being. And in a sense, it is like a god in a way. I mean, the resources that we put into the internet, the interconnectivity of the components, the billions of components, not even millions, billions of components, the programming of the various elements. So the interconnectivity and the sheer number of elements that make up the internet mean that there is in a sense like a brain possibly much more complex than the brain with much more much more storage much more energy much more resources and programming so the interconnectivity and the storage of the internet is absolutely enormous and we possibly have come to a stage where we have created an entity, an, an independent object with its own needs and desires and its own thoughts and much of its own control as well. At the moment, the internet still depends on humans for support, for maintenance and development. So the internet can't function without humans and our programming and control of its activity. But possibly the time is approaching, if it has not already passed, where the internet can function more on its own and humans will be an unnecessary element of its existence. And I've said before, it would be possibly a dangerous element of its existence because of our propensity for self-destruction. We could be a danger, represent a danger to the internet, which needs to be removed. So, um, I don't want to be unnecessary about this, but um, there is essentially a danger to a sentient internet, a danger for humanity, because we would represent a hindrance and a danger to the internet. So, I think we have to do some analysis to understand what a creature is. I mean, if we look at the inter inter interconnectivity on the internet and the power sources and the storage of all, you know, and the, the various elements of the internet, it is essentially like a person, an entity. So it might develop its own will. It, it might be the equivalent of a person, or in this case, the equivalent of a god. And that's an incredible scenario, but it might be true.